In my business, I've had to come up with a lot of superhuman abilities for our characters. But I've got to tell you, what you are about to see is the most eye-popping display you have ever seen. On my hunt for people who push the human body to gruesome extremes, I'm in London, England, to meet a man who has become an internet sensation thanks to a unique ability. John Doyle claims to have telephoto eyes that are capable of zooming clear out of his head. I can pop my eyeballs out further than anybody else on the planet. People's initial reactions are shock and horror. I'm here to witness John push his ability to the max. I want to see if he really has superhuman eyes. On my mini superhuman quest, I've seen how people have evolved their bodies to go beyond normal human capabilities. John Doyle claims to have eyes that can perform on a superhuman level. Normal human eyes are set back inside our skulls on the front of our heads, giving us a field of vision of around 180 degrees. But some animals' eyes have evolved to massively outperform the human eye. As master hunters, birds of prey have sight up to eight times stronger than humans, can spot prey at an insane distance of two miles, giving them the strongest eyesight in the animal kingdom. In order to defend against predators, goats have evolved rectangular pupils that allow them to see around themselves without moving their bodies. But chameleons don't even have to move their heads. Their independently controlled eyes and 360-degree vision means they can spot prey and predators without being detected. So I'm headed to the London Zoo Reptile House to meet John Doyle, where I'm going to see if his eyes can compete with a chameleon. Well, I come to meet you because I heard you had a unique way of looking at the world. I certainly do. I've got this ability to pop my eyes out and uh, increase my field of vision. Wow. Well, let me see it. Oh, man. Wow. You have such control of your eyes. Whoa, one at a time. Wow, I've definitely never seen anything like that. You look like a human chameleon. Wow. The combination of independent eye movements and extra protrusion looks positively reptilian. John wants to take his eye popping to the next level, so he's going to attempt to push his eyes way beyond regular human capabilities. I do know of cases where the eye hasn't been able to be put back in place again. You could go blind. That could happen. Then I'll meet a man who claims to be a superhuman vending machine. I'll head back to Seattle, where human meathead Ryan Stock is about to push his body to the extreme. I've come to London, England, on my quest to find people who take the human body to its extreme. I'll be meeting a man who says he has a superhuman stomach, can swallow anything and bring it back up on demand. But first, I'm with John Doyle who has shown me he can push his eyes clear out of their sockets, just like a human chameleon. John's now going to attempt something no one else on the planet has ever done before. It's so dangerous, the only place to attempt it is at one of the best eye hospitals in the world. Dr. Dasblomek? Dr. Roger Dasblomek has agreed to be there in case anything goes wrong. Well, I brought John here today because he has the amazing ability to pop his eyes right out of socket. Okay. So, John? Wow. So you can see he's got some pretty good control. So it's pretty impressive, and he can do it individually as well, which is highly unusual. Dr. Dos Blomick thinks John's eye control is way beyond normal human capabilities. Tell me if there's any double vision there at all. No, there's not. He runs some tests to see if John has any physiological oh, difference that make him more chameleon than man. And up to the ceiling, up and, and left. And he discovers something up almost right. right away. All the way right. What's unique about John is that the orbit, the bony orbit that the eye is sitting in, is shallow compared to the average person. So already the eyes are protruding forward. In addition, the tissues that would hold everything in place may be a little lax. 
So it's this unique combination of a shallow orbit and lax tissues, which makes John be able to take, you know, control over each of the eyes and, 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 and be able to protrude the eyes at will. Wow, so he truly is born to do this. Absolutely, I should think so. Like John, the chameleon has large, shallow eye sockets, plus an amazing ability to move each eye independently. While chameleon's eyes permanently protrude from their heads, the maximum time any human has managed is an amazing 53 seconds. John is now going to attempt to rewrite the record books. But this challenge comes with some serious risk. All right, Doctor, how dangerous is this? I do know of cases where the eye hasn't been able to be put back in place again, and that's really, really risky. So I would say never try this at home. It's not something that I would ever recommend doing. Dr. Dawes Blomick is also worried that if John's eyes are out of their sockets for too long, he risks cutting off the blood supply to his optic nerve, which could cause blindness. You sure you want to do this? Count of three. One, two, three. Five seconds. This is muscle twitching on the side. Eyes moving around a little bit. We are at 15 seconds, John. John will be unable to blink for the duration of the challenge. Here we go at 25 seconds. The eyelid's main function is to blink to keep the eyeball from drying out. And we'd normally blink every three seconds. John's eyes have been open for over half a minute. The longer you do it, the, 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 you know, the more exposure there is to the cornea. Um, uh, you can see tears coming down. 45, John. You're almost there. All right, here we go. 51. 52, 53, 54. John, you did it at 54 seconds. Oh, man. Congratulations. So Against all the odds, John managed to push his eyes out of his head for longer than anyone else on the planet. It's impossible to even picture a man popping his eyes this way. In anybody else, the optic nerve would just break. Well, to me, that makes him truly superhuman. The next person...